What's up guys? What's up? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And um, by the way, I'm on the iPhone right now. I normally record with this little camera guy right here. Um, but for some reason, it's not turning on. Like it turns on when I click the button here. See now, it doesn't even want to do that. It, click on it, now it opens, but no screen. It starts to blink and then it's gonna end up closing here sometime yep see it closes right back up for some reason i don't understand that i'm hoping the camera's not broke but if it is <laughs> i'm gonna be on the iphone the entire time but anyways today is the start of me uh making my way back from the east or from the east coast to the west coast i'm in pennsylvania right now i'm actually at my parents house uh, i said bye to my family and everything my sister my mom my dad and everybody all my family and stuff and now I'm going to be working my way back uh, to the West Coast. I'm not sure how long um, I'm going to be there. Yeah, so I, I don't know if, you know, I, I'm planning on going back to California, but we'll see uh, what happens from here. Um, you guys see uh, today anyway, so I am planning on today going to Columbus, Ohio, and I will be walking around a trail and stuff like that as long as I can find it. And you guys are gonna come the entire time with me. But first, I gotta uh, get things put down and stuff like that. So, um, my computer gotta be put away and stuff like that so I can drive this thing. And then I'm gonna uh, go get some diesel and then make my way to Columbus, Ohio. So, start thinking about how you'll spend it. Gotta get gas here, or diesel actually. Gotta get a little diesel. There's an RV. There's another RV. I guess I'm not the only one on the road then, huh? <laughs> not that I thought I was not the only one on the road, but... Yeah. Oh, man. By the way, this is Middletown. This is the town I uh, grew up in. Born and raised around... Well, I wasn't born in Middletown, but... Raised up in Middletown. I was born somewhere nine miles from Middletown, which is Harrisburg, the capital of uh, Pennsylvania. Well, I got some messy hair right now, a little messy, well, just a little bit, but I'm on, uh, I think this is actually 68, I think it is, Interstate 68. Uh, my GPS, for some reason, took me off of Interstate 70 and put me on Interstate 68. I'm not exactly sure why. But it, it, it did look like it was shorter because I was going to continue going on to 70. I was going to say, ah, screw you, uh, GPS. But I ended up not doing that and uh, listening to it because on the GPS, it did, it looked like it said on, on Google Maps, if I kept on 70, it's going to be like 30 some minutes longer. So I guess the GPS you know, did the right thing by taking me the shorter route. But I remember doing that last year. Although, last year I think I took the Pennsylvania Turnpike until Pittsburgh, and then Pittsburgh, I went, I went from Pittsburgh to Columbus, Ohio through Interstate 70. Right now, I think I'm in Maryland. I believe I'm in Maryland. I'm not sure, though. So, what's that sign say? That sign... Yeah, I, I'm in Maryland. But, uh, one thing I didn't realize... Yeah, Maryland Wildlife, there it is, watch. A little sign there that says, watch Maryland Wildlife. Um, but these mountains, I, I believe these are the Smoky Mountains that I'm in right now. And it's so beautiful up here. The leaves are starting to change a little bit. Um, it's September, uh, what, what is it, September 23rd. And the leaves are usually changing, like by now, um, but here in the northeastern coast, especially like up in Pennsylvania where I was and stuff like that, we've been getting a little bit uh, warmer than normal weather for this time of year. So the leaves are kind of slow changing right now this year. And it sucks because that's my second favorite uh, season is to see the, you know, like fall and stuff like that, to see all the leaves and stuff like that change.
stopped for a little rest here at the rest stop. And apparently, while I was driving, my trash bags came flying out of my little cabinet here and apparently it got shut now. But I didn't realize my trash bags just came flying out. So I'm gonna try to wrap these things back up. Uh, doors, but. Oh yeah, by the way, I also stained this too since I vlogged the last time in the van. I stained it the same color uh, as the countertop here, so th this matches the entire counter. So now you put it in there, and now the sink kind of, the sinkhole area kind of looks the same. You know what I mean? Looks pretty cool if you ask me. But yeah, I just did that since I vlogged the van last, and um, that's another thing that I did too since I vlogged the van last too, and that was I hooked the alternator up to the house battery. So right now, actually, since the vehicle is on, because I didn't, I haven't shut my van off yet. I'm about to do that as soon as I'm done vlogging, because I'm gonna go in, into the rest stop. But um, uh, so now that my van's running, and while I'm also driving, my solar panels aren't just the only thing that's charging my house batteries now. Now my alternator is also, my Sprinter alternator is now also helping the house batteries to charge. And um, I'll shoot, not in this video, but I'll show you guys the entire hookup and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And now my house batteries are just, they're, I mean, it's charged and I haven't had a problem or anything like that because what I was running into was my battery bank and the solar panels. The solar panels are amazing, but days like this where it's like cloudy and stuff like that, and I'm just sitting around and stuff, uh, you know, it's a little iffy and stuff like that. So now I can just start up my vehicle and my van acts pretty much like a generator to charge my house batteries, which is amazing. Of course, when you're driving, you even get a better charge because how the alternator works is the more RPMs there is in the vehicle, the more the power the alternator is going to give out. So right now, the alternator is not giving out too uh, too too much power, but it's giving me giving out enough where if I start it up, I can charge up my house batteries. But if my house battery is like dead dead, then I can just start up my vehicle, drive it for a little bit, and my house batteries will charge up quicker that way because. You know, like I just said, the more RPMs your vehicle has, the more your alternator is going to charge. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I mean, I'm sure there's more to it that I'm not explaining, but I think that's a simple way I could put it. And also the simple way that I understood it <laughs> when I had it explained to me. So anyways, I'm going to go in the rest stop. I'm going to shut down the van and stuff like that. You got to put my flip flops on. Also, I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna get a sweatshirt put on because I'm in shorts. I'm gonna have flip flops on, but I'll also put a sweatshirt on. Uh, it's 63 degrees out right now. We're gonna get sweatshirts. My sweatshirts back here. But, uh, like I said, it's 63 degrees outside, and where I'm coming from, where I, I just pulled um, off from Pennsylvania, Middletown, Pennsylvania, that's where I came from. Um, it was 90 degrees today there, and now it's 63. It's pretty cool, but um, yeah, now it actually feels like fall. <laughs> Maybe if it's cold enough tonight, I might just have to start a little fire at the rest stop that whatever rest stop I tend to park at. I might just need to start that little buddy up. Just need to get some wood somewhere, but that's not hard to get, especially where because I'm playing on like Ohio or something like that somewhere around there, but. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to that rest stop.
I stopped again at another rest stop. I'm right outside of uh, Columbus, Ohio. I'm about to be going through Columbus, Ohio, and go, I'm gonna go from this rest stop. I'm about like 20 some miles, I think, from actual Columbus, Ohio, like downtown in the city. Um, I'm gonna go through Columbus, Ohio and go to the next rest stop outside of the city. And that's where I'm probably gonna stay for the night. Um, but yeah, it's dark out and stuff like that. And then I also just put up my, this curtain. And then I need to get a new curtain, by the way. Um, because I switched different curtains around. I used to use this curtain back for those windows. And I totally forgot I actually now use this for the little door. For the like, bathroom area for right now. Because uh, I didn't get to building a wall out and building the door like I wanted to. So for right now, that that this little curtain is being used for the the bathroom area door so i used my blue blanket um i don't cover up with it or anything like that so it's cool but i'm using that for right now actually i'm about to go outside to see if i can actually see some of the light coming through there uh, see if i could block out the light or not just to see because it'd be good that's good information to have so i'm gonna check that real quick hold on oh no not bad just a little light up there that's not bad okay yeah it's not bad at all not only that i would never be like sleeping with the lights like that usually i would have them dimmed down anyways so it's not like my lights are gonna be full blast like that but uh yeah so i'm actually um going to continue driving like i said go through columbus ohio and then um stop at the next rest stop over